The prosecutor's interest in a criminal prosecution is not that it shall win a case, but that justice shall be done. As such, he is the servant of the law, the twofold aim of which is that guilt shall not escape nor innocence suffer. While he may strike hard blows, he is not at liberty to strike foul ones. It is as much his duty to refrain from improper methods calculated to produce a wrongful conviction as it is to use every legitimate means to bring about a just conviction. More than 75 years ago, the United States Supreme Court used those words to define the role of prosecutors in our criminal justice system. The rules governing lawyers use similar language. They say prosecutors have the special role to be ministers of justice. As prosecutors, we embrace our duty to be the only lawyers to ever walk into a courtroom whose job it is not just to win the case. We know we have a higher calling to do justice, which means both convicting the guilty and protecting the rights of all people, including criminal defendants. Because Missouri's prosecutors care deeply about justice, convicting the guilty and exonerating the innocent, Many of Missouri's most experienced prosecutors are studying the best practices for criminal investigations and prosecutions. For example, we're working on how to get the most out of our crime labs, making the best use of fingerprints, DNA, firearms analysis, and other types of evidence. Let me tell you about a case that occurred in Boone County in which we use this powerful technology to bring a dangerous criminal to justice. For decades, 77-year-old Zelfa Turner lived peacefully in her home. Daryl Jackson waited until she was home alone. Then he went inside and he brutally murdered her. Investigators collected Jackson's shoe. It had a tread pattern that matched a shoe print found under Zelfa's body. DNA testing then revealed Zelfa's blood on that shoe. If police and prosecutors had not made the best use of this scientific evidence, Daryl Jackson, an extremely violent career criminal, may have literally gotten away with murder. We're considering the best of what science has to offer in other fields too, such as psychology, sociology, and neurology. This will help us determine, for example, whether eyewitnesses to a crime are more accurate in identifying suspects when they're shown several photos at once or just one at a time. And we're working on the best ways to use computer and cell phone data to catch criminals while also protecting people's privacy. Missouri's prosecutors have actually been doing this for years. In 2009, prosecutors wrote and successfully persuaded the legislature to pass the law that requires police to record interrogations of people suspected of committing dangerous felonies. We believe juries have a right to the best evidence of whether someone is guilty of any crime charged. At first, a lot of people were surprised that prosecutors and our law enforcement partners were actually lobbying to place this new burden on ourselves. But it is the duty of police and prosecutors to protect everyone in our community, including victims and defendants. We want the process to be as fair and transparent as possible. You see, unlike what we often see on TV, prosecutors aren't focused on getting convictions at any cost. We also work very hard to avoid wrongful convictions. When I became top prosecutor in the city of St. Louis, I started the DNA Justice Project, where we proactively reviewed about 1,400 cases where modern DNA technology could shed light on crimes that occurred back when I was in high school, prior to this groundbreaking technology. In most cases we reviewed and tested, DNA results confirm that prior convictions were absolutely correct. However, in a handful of cases, DNA testing showed that the person who was convicted had not committed the crime. One of these cases was Larry Johnson's. Mr. Johnson, who had a previous conviction for rape, was convicted by a jury of a second rape in 1984. After serving 18 years in prison for that conviction, Modern DNA testing showed that Larry Johnson had not committed that crime. So attorneys from my office worked hand in hand with his lawyers to get him released from prison and Missouri prosecutors championed legislation to provide compensation in the very rare instances when someone is wrongly convicted. For Missouri's prosecutors, it's about doing the right thing. Our best practices initiative will focus on ethics making sure we're always focused on doing the right work in the right way. 
We'll also look closely at the most important decision a prosecutor ever makes, when to pursue the death penalty. This initiative will also allow every prosecutor across the state to take advantage of the best methods to pursue specialized cases like child abuse, sexual assault, drunk driving, and the like. Studying and implementing the best practices for law enforcement and prosecution will enable prosecutors to fulfill our duty to obtain just convictions against only those who are guilty of victimizing law-abiding citizens. So remember this the next time you hear about a crime in your community. We're Missouri's prosecutors, and we're here to ensure justice for the guilty and the innocent.